Restart. A word for those who expect everything new again. A chance to rewrite a new story. It is like a blank sheet of paper to write what is still not written. A new story in marriage. Harmony in the family. Achievements. Stability. And mainly, the Holy Spirit. There is only one place where you can find it all. And start, or restart, a new life. That place is the altar. The altar of God. A place of protection. Of happiness. A source of strength. of surrender, a place of sacrifice and answers. This is our place, the altar. Welcome to a new life, the Universal Church, leading people to intelligent faith. It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. Welcome to your program, Problems and Solutions. A very good evening. It's a pleasure to be back with you with one more program of this Saturday where we are here at this time to give you through this program an opportunity for your life to change. Change completely. We are not here promoting a better life, but we are here to promoting a transformation of life. If you are watching me right now and you need your life to be transformed, you need a transformation, let me tell you that the only way and the only one that can do that is God, through the Holy Spirit. And that's why we're going to show you stories of people that uh, they had an encounter with God. They arrive at the universal church with traumas, with situations, with problems. But as soon as they decided to, you know, to seek for God's help, they decide to give their step of faith and to surrender their lives totally and completely on God's altar, there was a totally transformation. Like happened in the life of Angela Guerrero, that she arrived here, she had family problems, emptiness, but the moment that the Spirit of God came to her, she became confident, she became stronger. Today, she is a living testimony. Today, she has a totally and completely different life. And the same, my dear viewer, God wants to do for you. So watch her testimony careful. And if the main time you'd like to be in contact with us, below your screen there is our telephone number, our WhatsApp number. And also if you are watch me from Facebook, you can contact us through the messenger of Facebook. Let's watch the testimony of Angela Guerrero and we'll be back with you straight after. My parents had a lot of problems. They were constantly fighting. There was a lot of abuse. My father was an alcoholic. And um, that brought me a lot of sadness, a lot of pain to see them all the time fighting. The smallest thing could bring just a, a big argument and fight. And um, I was sick. My mother was also sick. 
My brother was epileptic, my father was asthmatic. We were always in the hospital constantly. When I was not in the hospital, I was visiting my mom or my brother or my father. It was like hell, I was living. So that's when my mother tried everything. She went everywhere, every religious. We had from Buddha to Mary, we had in our house. We tried witchcraft, we, my mother tried everything, but still nothing could help us. So one friend once invited her, to go to the Universal Church, and we went. And when we arrived, um, our life started to change. My mother was healed, my father was healed, he was recovered, he, he was set free from addictions, he became a new man. I saw so many miracles. Myself, I was healed, my brother, our life was restored. But still, I was sad. Nobody knew, sometimes I would just lay down in bed and cry. And I start listening about the Holy Spirit, the pastor would say, but I never told anyone what was going on with me. So I went and I spoke and I asked for help. I said, pastor, I am really sad all the time. I, I laugh, I pretend, I try to distract my, uh, myself with friends, but it still is this emptiness. So he told me, you need the Holy Spirit. So I decided I want the Holy Spirit. I will do it, whatever it takes. But there were so many things inside of me, you know, because I never spoke to no one. So I had grudges against my father. I had problems, you know, for, I never forgave. And I had issues that I had traumas that I had to let it go. So I decided I will pay the price. I start sacrificing for the Holy Spirit and campaigns. I would pray in the night. I, will, I decided to forgive my father for what he'd done to our family. And I start seeking the Holy Spirit with all my heart in the middle of the night, reading my Bible. And I said, God, here I am. I remember one Sunday morning, I went to the church and I said, here, Jesus, take who I am. All the things that I never had the courage to tell people, all the thoughts and the feelings and the trauma, I spoke to God. And that day, what a day, there is no words that I can express what happened to me. I'm no longer the same person. God is with me. He gave me the strength and I've been through a lot of situations, but I am not alone. He filled my heart with the assurance, I hear you. All those times I heard you, when you cried to me, I heard I was there, but you didn't give yourself 100%, so I could not come in. But now that you opened the space, I am in forever, for life. From that day I decided, my God, I want to save every single person that is out there. They are feeling like me, they are desperate, they are lonely, they sad, they depressed, and they don't know what is missing. I want to tell them about your spirit because even if you have a financial blessing you have your family blessing but if you don't have the spirit of god you're not alive you're not living it's like you when i received the holy spirit it was like breathing for the first time and i wanted everyone to do that and uh, with this desire a few years later god put a man of god in my way that wanted to do the same thing to save other people and we are here serving god for 20 years so if you are there suffering like me in silence, just holding the pain, you don't have to. The Holy Spirit can change your life. This is God's creation. With its mountains and valleys, its oceans and luscious islands, with all these magnificent places to choose from, where any one of us would love to be, God has chosen another place to prepare His servants, the desert. An arid, uninhabitable, dry land filled with danger and extreme temperatures. Yes, this is the place that God has prepared to make us strong. Abraham, Moses, the children of Israel and the Lord Jesus himself all had to go through it. The desert is the university of the Holy Spirit. There is no food, no water, and no shade, but it was in the desert that the people of Israel learned that their help comes from the Most High. Moses learned more about God in the desert than he did in Pharaoh's palaces. Not even the Son of God could escape it. It was there that he was prepared for 40 days for his mission here on earth. Whether a physical or spiritual desert, 
When we're led by the Holy Spirit into the desert, we can be sure God wants to say something to us. Many times, the noise of the city and its many distractions block us from hearing His voice. The deafening silence of the desert is necessary to show us what He wants. Theories and studies are not what make us strong. We are shaped through practice and the heat of the battle. Most Christians simply want to be guided to the still waters, but we need to understand that God allows the battles so that we mature spiritually and grow in faith. In the desert, we're prepared for bigger and better things. Through them, we discover who we really are. In the beginning, we don't understand why we're going through them, but in the end, we see how essential they were to our growth. As incredible as it may seem, our greatest experiences with God come from this place, because it is there that we learn to depend on Him alone. But don't forget, after the desert comes the promised land. After Jesus had been in this place for 40 days, angels came to serve Him. If you're traveling through a desert at this very moment, hold firmly to the Word of God, because it'll soon be over. And in the end, you'll be prepared for the great things that God has prepared for those that love Him. So I take pleasure in weaknesses, in reproaches, in hardships, in persecutions, and in distress for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. My dear friend, only the Holy Spirit can make this totally and completely transformation. That's why I told you uh, in the beginning of this program, I told you that uh, the God's transformation, the Holy Spirit doesn't give a better life. He gives a totally and transform, uh, transformed life. Sometimes you say the following, there are times that my life, it seems good, but there are times that everything just collapses. There are times that uh, apparently things are going right, but suddenly things start going back. You give one step forward, three backwards. That it, you solve a problem, but another problem arises. I'm not saying to you that with God you don't have problems. Of course, all of us, we have problems. I have problems. Any person, Angela, that you saw the testimony, she has today problems. But the difference is when we have God inside of us, you know, my dear friend, we have strength, a strength that comes from Him and nobody else. One thing is to have God by your side. Another thing is to have Him inside of you. And this is what the Holy Spirit does. When He comes inside of someone's life, there is a totally transformation. And the first thing that starts changing is the mind. Because the person start having the thoughts of God, the person start having, you know, the mind of God, and 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 then what happened? The Holy Spirit will guide. How many times you are watch me, and you say like this? I made bad decisions in life. Sometimes you repent. If you could go back, you will do different choices in your life. You have done different decisions in your life. Sometimes related to your relationship, sometimes related to a, a step of work. I don't know. You, there are things in life that if you could go back, you change. Maybe you are there in this situation today because of a bad choice, because of a, a bad decision that you did. But of course that we are not here to condemn you and not God as well. We are here to lift you up because you cannot change what happened yesterday, but you can change from today on. You can start changing your life from today on. Tomorrow at the Universal Church, here in Sweden, as also all over the world, we're going to start the 21 days of the fast of Daniel. That is going to be 21 days to please God, to invest in the relationship with God. And when you come tomorrow, we're going to explain you better about that. But... Uh, Basically, it's 21 days where you're going to separate yourself from everything 
from everything. Notice that your life is so busy and sometimes you have little time or sometimes nothing. You don't have time to invest in your faith, in your spiritual life. Maybe you are watching me today and you always say, one day I go to this church, but always something happened. Always something happened. There is no time. You, you, you woke up late, you, you became sick, you took traffic, it's far from you. Notice that sometimes you're already planning for a long time, but you don't have, you don't find yet the time to come. You know why? Because you need many times to make a sacrifice of leaving things aside and prioritize your transformation. Prioritize God's spirit, the spirit of God. So tomorrow, if you want God's spirit, I would like you to invite you for you to join us in this first day of the fast of Daniel. And we're going to explain you more about this purpose that has been transforming people's life. Like he did in the life of Carla, Carla Vieira. We're going to watch her testimony right now. You're going to see how her life was transformed through the Holy Spirit. Watch carefully. I had to forgive myself. That was one of the main keys to forgive myself. Because of everything that I have done, you know, many people that hurt me, and I forgave, you know, I had forgiven. But to forgive myself was the hardest thing. I truly had to show to God that I wanted to depend on Him. It wasn't easy, it was hard. But to show to Him that truly I wanted Him more than anything. And believe in myself as well. Because with all of this of not forgiving, believing was all connected. I didn't believe that God wanted to come to me because I've been in the church so long. You know, I knew the truth. I had to recognize that God wanted to come. It didn't matter my past, it didn't matter what I did what I said, but he wanted to come to me. And I remember the day that I said, God, I surrender all to you. I said, God, I'm going to make a purpose with you. I'm going to go every day early in the morning to seek you, to show to you. And in the afternoon, when I come for lunch, I would take a little time, do it in the afternoon. And in the evening before I went to bed, I said, God, this is to show to you that I truly depend on you. I give you my all. And then I went seven o'clock in the morning. I went there and I and I surrendered. I said, God, it's you and me. I went at seven o'clock in the morning and pastor said exactly, you know, just to show to God my depends. He said, those who don't have the Holy Spirit, come here to the front. I said, many thoughts came to my head. Don't go. People are going to see. I said, I do not care. Inside of me, I said, I do not care. I went there to the front. And I said, now it's you and me, my God, to show to you. I went against my feelings. I went against what I, what I what I felt. So you have to come upon me here today. I'm not leaving here in this place. I determined to God. And I was asking him to come, telling him all my problems. And there was a time that I just didn't want to seek him anymore. I just wanted to praise him. Because I had the certainty inside of me that he was with me, that no one could take. I was smiling, laughing, crying, everything. I just left there so light, like, you know, a burden was taken off of my shoulder. You know, I was, I felt so good. You know, this certainty inside of me that no one could take away. I remember I went home and then on that week, my mom said like this to me, Carla, you are a bit different. What's wrong with you? I said, mom, I received the Holy Spirit. And she was so happy, I said, wow, I'm so happy for you. And from that day, things started to change my mindset. And, to, you know, I started to think positive. You know, situations that would come my way, I would, you know, be dismotivated. This time, no, I said, God, you're with me. Let's go. Let's carry on. Let's go. Because we're not perfect. Sometimes we think, no, we're going to see the Holy Spirit. Everything is going to be great. But it's not the case. Even harder things come my way. Even harder things came after I received the Holy Spirit. Even tougher challenges came. But it was different this time. Because I have Him inside of me. I was able to go against. I was able to fight. God gave me the direction I didn't need. Because many times I would depend a lot on what people would say. So opinions, I would go, oh, what do you think about this? Oh, what do you think about that? I didn't have my own opinion. I didn't have my own understanding. But now, you know, when situations come, God directly shows to me, what is it that I need to do? Obviously, there are times that we need to, if we need to speak, if we need to do, you know, we have to do it. But the most important is God guiding us. Today, I'm happy. I'm married to a man of God, serving God on the altar, helping people who are going through the same situation that we have gone through. And we're happy. We're very happy. And I'm very happy to serve God until the end. My dear friend, do not miss your opportunity. God through the Holy Spirit is giving you this chance. Hold up on this chance. Hold 
and say, you know, my life will be transformed. My life will not be better. My life will be transformed. So tomorrow, if you live in Stockholm, we have our headquarters here in the city center. The address is Birga Yasgotan 106. Birga Yasgotan 106. We'll be here at 9 o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock in the morning, also at 12.30, 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock. What you need to do is to book an appointment because, as you know, we are under restrictions and we have a maximum capacity of eight people. But you can book an appointment. You can call us now and we're going to tell you the free time that you can join us. And surely, when you arrive, you're going to have this experience with God. You're going to come. There is, you can disinfect your hands when you arrive. There is distance of people. If you prefer to wear your mask uh, for you to be more uh, safe, to, you, you, you do as you want. You do it as you, you feel better. But come and surely that your life will be transformed. Also, in Gothenburg, we're going to have, we have also your, our branch in Gothenburg. That is, the, the address is below your screen, eh? Ringingatten 13. Tomorrow also in the same times, the, the pastor will be there waiting for you, okay? Also, we have our special work in Malmo that we're going to start on the 10th of April and in Vasteros. And then you can call us to know more information about us. Or you can visit our website, www.uckg.sc. You have the addresses of Sweden and also Scandinavia and also all over the world. Maybe you are watching me from Facebook from a different country and you'd like to know the times and the address of the Universal Church near you, you can go to our website, okay? It was a pleasure to be with you. May the Lord of God bless you all. And do not just be watching us. Give your step of faith because the same way that the lives of these people were transformed, yours will be as well. Have a good night. May God bless you. This is your UCKG timetable, helping you to make a new beginning. Mondays, a meeting focused on achieving more in your financial life. Tuesdays, prayers for healing. Wednesdays, a meeting teaching you to develop in your spiritual life. Thursdays, a special prayer for the family. Friday, a service for your spiritual deliverance. Sundays, reconnect with God, the main meeting for your spiritual strength.